Oh, he's from a folded leg. All right, I have a razor brain. Uh, I have a, re a real laser blade. Please be careful. Don't touch here. Please, could you cut the paper out? With this? It's a sharp right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I swallow oh, the no, laser blade. No, don't do that. No, don't. No. No, my God. Yummy! All right! I have more of a laser blade. No! Mm. Mm. Uh, would you like some? No, okay. Please don't copy me! Mm. I will eat all of them. Delicious. Wow. Ah, last one is strings. <sighs> Keep eating things. He'll never eat his dinner after this.
，他是这个。What I was hoping to do was show you all something interesting with a pack of playing cards.、Uh, I'm just gonna let's say we use this one. I've got a sharpie in my pocket. Just、uh, sign your name right on the face of the card. All right. Thank you. We've got the face of the card with Chris's signature on it. But I'm gonna change the back. If you watch, it happens on the count of three. That's one. That's two. That's Come three. on. Please take a look at it. Make sure it is exactly what it seems to be. That's my damn card. Now I do have a bone to pick with you, sir. No, you do. You did say that my routine wasn't nearly as dynamic, and the truth of the matter is, I've kind of taken it to heart. And in fact, I brought a special magic wand here, just for you, sir. This is always going to happen one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What I want you guys to do is keep your eyes on the card, but also keep your eyes on the hammer. As the card completely vanishes, but for your safety, I want you to move down to the other side of the table. The you want、smash. me to go to the other side? <laughs> yeah. Would you guys just mind just sliding down just a little? Sure. Because this is going to be、too. interesting.、We、Because、will. when the card vanishes, people always ask, "Where in the world could it be?" Here on the table, if you don't mind, sir, go ahead and examine it. Open it up and tell me. Is that your signature? This is my card. It's my, it's my crappy signature. I paid it back. I paid it back. That was good. He is so talented. Like so skilled. I mean, what he did, I have no idea how he did it. Andrew and I are so in tune with each other. Even though we went shopping separately for today's audition, we both ended up buying the same camouflage T-shirts. Let's show you what we do. Amanda, I'll take you have your phone on you. Yes, I do actually.、Uh, if you stand here for me, Amanda, I'd like you to scroll through your contact list and stop on somebody at random. Okay. Look at this person's last three digits of their phone number. Yes.、Yeah. Once you've got that in your mind, lock the phone and put your phone on the desk. Just say this person's name over and over again in your mind. I really hope we get this. And even though you picked this person, you had a free choice. Is that right? Andrew, Amanda, in a loud, clear voice, what are the three numbers you're thinking of? Four one five. Four one five. That's exactly what I've got. Thank you. Of course, Amanda, this is a contact in your phone. In a loud, clear voice, whose number is this? My sister Debbie. Debbie. That's what I've got. <laughs> Amanda, thank you so much. Please take a seat. Thank you. Why would you do that? Simon, please join us on stage. And I'm sure everyone here will give you a really big hand. Simon! Yay! 
Good luck, Simon! Love you, Simon! Go this side of the stage Thank for you, us. Simon. Thank you. Simon, would you hold that, please? We're going to go on an imaginary journey in your mind. Oh, don't. Oh, God, oh, don't dear. go there. Don't oh, go there. Oh, dear. I'd like you to imagine that you're standing outside a house. You look at the door and you see a number on the door. Any number you like, Simon, please write it down. Just try to say that number over and over again in your mind. You now go into this imaginary house and you go into a living room. You look at the wall of the living room and you see a colour painted on the walls. Please write it down. Just imagine that colour all around us now. You're focused on it, right? And even though you picked that colour, you could have had anyone. You now go into the kitchen. You look over at the wall and you see a celebrity calendar. It could be anyone you like, Simon. Now, although you picked this person, that was a free choice. You know that, right? You know that. And even though you picked this person, you had a choice of thousands. Andrew? I, I am getting something. Simon was asked to imagine he was standing in front of a house. He imagined a door, he imagined a number. Simon, you then walked into the house, you looked at a room that was in a single colour. Then you're asked to think of a celebrity, anyone in the world. Simon, I believe you're thinking 717. You're thinking of the colour turquoise. You're thinking of Sir Roger Moore. May I? Ladies and gentlemen, exactly the number 717. He thought wow. of turquoise. Oh. You chose Roger Moore, Simon, thank you so much. How did they do thank that? so much. So oh. much. <laughs> Many of you may be wondering how we read minds. What you should be wondering is how we started off this performance wearing camouflage T-shirts and ended up wearing black. We are DNA. So now, I need you right now, don't say it, but think of a unique word to describe you. Face me, put your two hands up like this. I need you to bring them a little bit closer. Close your eyes, don't move a muscle. Everyone else, shh, shh, shh. Don't move. <laughs> now you can open up your eyes, you can put your hands back down. This... Did you just lick my hands? You did. This did wipe you? is for you, but I'd be right in saying, just from the taste alone, recently, have you been eating eggs and the, the potato chips as well? Am I right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Harry, put your no. hand. No, I'm no. 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 I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Don't touch Harry's hip. Harry, this is my iPhone. You are going to have to deduce the six digits that unlock it here. So press right now any six digits on there and tell us yes or no. Did it open? Did it open? No. no. Of course not. OK, now, judges, I would love you three right now to think of any number between 1 and 10. Simon, what do you think the first digit is? 1. 1. Press 1. Perfect. Second digit. Heidi, what do you think the second digit is? 9. 9. Press it. 1. 1. Press 1. The last three you're going to get on your own. Right now, let me get into the mindset of Harry. OK. <laughs> The last three digits, look at me, are going to pop into your head. Okay. Not yet. But okay. when they do, this is one in a million. So if he unlocks this, he's done it. Press the last three digits that you think unlock my code. Mm. Press them in. Whatever feels right, press. Yes! Oh! You got it! Oh, wow. Uh... Let's hear it from the world's newest mind reader, Harry Mandel! Oh, Harry, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Right there. But with you, you were thinking a secret. I don't think you would want everyone else to know it. I'm going to whisper it to you, but pinky promise, this secret will never go any further, OK? The thing you're thinking is... Mel, is that true? Yes! Oh. Yeah? 
And I didn't just whisper, act surprise, play along. That's that's genuine, yes? Oh, my God. And there's no way I could have found there's that on Twitter, no social way. media, anywhere. Good. There's no way. We'll keep that between us. We'll leave them wondering. Oh. But look right at me, Mel. Look at me. You thought of a word. Before you came out here, I gave out some letters to people in the audience. I don't want you to see them, so keep looking at me. Can I ask the guys over here who have the cards, stand up right now before Mel says her word, so that everyone knows this can't be changed. Would you all turn around your letters so that everyone else, no one say it, but I think this sums you up perfectly. Now, this is a free choice. You could have thought of tens of thousands of words. So tell us, what word are you thinking of to describe yourself right now? Well, for a start, I think every woman is this, but I think of myself as a goddess. Have a look. to show you some of my two favourite things, magic and reading, using my three favourite books. My first favourite author is Colin Davis, Math and Magical. Amanda, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? Yes, darling. My second favourite author is Zena Blythe and the Magical Faraway Tree. Alicia, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? OK. My third favourite author is David Williams and Midnight Gang. <laughs> <laughs> David, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? It would be a pleasure. <laughs> yes. While still doing that, Simon, could you pick up my box and put it on the floor for me, please? Where? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> She's very bossy. <laughs> Down here? Yeah. I can't lift it. <laughs> David, do you want to go and help I it? literally can't lift it. <laughs> Trying together. Go on. To me, to you. To me, to you. <laughs> it won't lift. Oh, wait one minute. Could you sit back down for me, please? Right, go sit down. Go sit down. No, you as well. <laughs> Do as you tell me. Yeah. Right, I'm back. <laughs> what <has that> happened? <laughs> Simon, I want to show you a card trick, but it's a card Hang trick on. right now. I'm still a bit scared after that. <laughs> Give me five seconds. Okay. As you can see, all the cards are different. Yeah, I can. I'm going to turn them face down and I want you to touch the back of any card. All right. That one. That. Thank you. I want you to look at your card, remember, and don't let anyone else see. I won't. OK. Now, Simon, you're the boss. I want you to pick any book, either Amanda, Alicia or David's. Alicia's, please. <laughs> Alicia's book has about 600 pages. Could you name a number between 1 and 600? It's 77. Alicia, could you turn your book to page 77 yes. for me, please? And check if all the words are different. Yes, all the words are different. Now, could you pick any word and tell us what it is? Kettle. Kettle. Remember, Simon, you could have picked any book, and Alicia, you could have chosen any word, but you chose kettle. Yes. See this blackboard? Before the show tonight, I wrote a word on the board. Watch. No way. What was your card? It's the Four of Diamonds. Thank you. I'm going to head towards you guys, if that's all right. 
Hello, Henry. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Now, I love messing around with my cards in school and showing my friends magic tricks during class, so I found some ways to hide my cards in school so my teachers don't get angry at me. So the first way I hide my cards is smuggling them into school inside my lunch bag, along with a snack for later, and that way I can now show some tricks to my friends. So Heidi, will you be my friend? Yes, I'd love to. Do me to. a favor and take any card you like. Go ahead and sign it. Perfect. I'll take that. Uh, so Seal, do me a favor, man. Hold out one of your hands. I'll give you the deck, and you put your other hand on top. So that way, there's no way I can manipulate the cards. Yeah, right on top. Now, would it be impressive, Mel, if I could pull Heidi's card from the deck with just one hand? Would that be impressive? Yeah. All right, here we go. You're right. That would have been really impressive. Oh. That would have been, been really, really good. Uh, but sadly, no, I got the king of diamonds, not even close. Tell you what, I'll make it up to you. I'll show you my second way I hide cards in school. It's making every single card inside of your hands turn completely invisible. Check it out. That's oh every single card in the entire what? deck completely what? clear. And my teachers don't notice a thing. Wow. But as cool that as is that is, crazy. I never found your card. Instead, I thought it was the King of Diamonds. But you look a little closer. Printed onto the card, the king seems to be holding on to the snack I brought here earlier today. No. Howie, I won't touch it. You pick up that snack. No. Make sure there's no cuts, slits, or tears anywhere on that, yeah? No, it's, it's, it's a sealed. Inside. Tear okay. that thing open. Okay. Break that in half. No. Oh my gosh, there's a card. Folded in half is one card. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Heidi's signed card. Oh my god! Amazing. Thank you. Wow. It's lovely to meet you all. Uh, my name is Matt. What's your name? Brilliant, that's enough. Now, I've only got like a minute to show you what I can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform a trick. Uh, but before I do my trick, I'm going to propose a toast. I want to say cheers to everybody. Um, so, when I say cheers, everybody in the audience shouts... Cheers! cheers. Perfect, amazing. Now, uh, because uh, I've only got a minute, I'm going to give this a big build-up in the hope that everyone claps really loudly and then all the ladies take off their bras and throw them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you, Alicia. <laughs> Worth a try. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Señor, sí, señores. Bienvenidos a la Britain's Got Talent de Sonoche. Se va para tequila. <laughs> Rachel, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Lee Evans and magic. <laughs> I like him. I do. Yeah. What's this? Come on, well. I forgot the soul. Gotta have soul. Oh. Tequila. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine.
tequila. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, everybody cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> David. David. Well, what a brilliant way to present a magic trick. It's good. I love when people push jokes as far as they possibly can go until they almost break. It was very funny, very entertaining. It was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Amanda? Yeah, I mean, I really loved it. It was sort of silly how Tommy Cooper used to do it. You know, you're so distracted by you clowning and messing about that we're not paying attention to what you're actually doing, so therefore it's even more magical. I really love you. I think you're charming, I think you're funny, and you're kind of old school with a twist, which is absolutely perfect for Britain's Got Talent. Well done. Simon? I've got to be honest with you, Matthew. You know, when you started with that voice, I thought this is going to be really annoying. But actually, you are brilliant. I mean, really, really funny. And how old are you, 34, did you say? 34. Okay, I'm surprised you haven't had a break yet, Matthew, because you're really likeable and nuts. Um, you've just got something about you, it's your energy. This is what we look for on these shows, people who've got star quality. I've just got a feeling about you. Good, you know. It's good. Really good. I agree, Matthew. Love your passion and enthusiasm. Right, we're going to take a vote, David. Oh, they've got the vote. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Excuse hold me. On. My very first pet was a fish. His name was Joey, and he was my best friend. I always wondered what it would be like to bring Joey back using magic. Join me, my friend Joey.